Hello, Libra. How are you today? Hope all is well with you. This is Crystal. Thank you for stopping at my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Much love to you. Mwah. Kisses to you too. So what we're doing today is a general reading for April 2020. It is just going to be a general. So I don't know what it's going to say, what spirit's going to want to tell you. Whatever messages are coming through is what's coming through. So if it does not resonate, check your moon and rising sign. To all the new people that are stopping by, hello and welcome. Please hit that subscribe button and feel free to hit the like. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Universe. Please tell me what you have in store for Libra in April 2020. What messages do you have for Libra for April 2020? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Universe. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm trying to get the camera to shut up. I'm trying not to be so loud. Okay. Libra, Libra, Libra. What do we got for that Libra? Okay. So, overall, is the Three of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. So, what I'm feeling for you with Three of Pentacles here as your overall energy, mm, or as the overall, like, message that's going on, is that I'm feeling like um, there's something that needs to be conquered. There's something that you are trying to build a foundation on, trying to... Um, move to the top, you know, with this mountain being here, um, I'm feeling like it has to do with you being in touch with who you are and making the connections to move upwards. I'm feeling like a mirror image here with the peak of the mountain and the pinnacles forming this triangle on the bottom. So it's definitely working within working maybe with others to just move to the top of your highest peak that you can move to. Okay, you're wanting to have foundation, you're wanting to build, you're wanting to grow, you're wanting to get up to the higher points of elevation, all right? So let's see what else is here. All right, nine of cups, right? One, two, three, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can see nine of cups. Sometimes the X in these, and this is the nine of wands, um, makes me think it's a V, just the way it's written, but nine of cups, Okay, nine of wands. Um, we got the seven of wands. We have the ace of pentacles. And the son of swords, which is the knight of swords. And the hermit. You're the third person that's had the hermit. All right, so, yeah, I know my camera angle is a little funky. I'm sorry. Um... All right, so let's go ahead and begin. So I'm seeing here you have the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the Seven of Wands. So I'm feeling like you're obviously wanting to move up. I'm seeing this staircase here. You're, you're having a lot of creative passion behind this. Um, you know, the feeling of moving forward, that that energy, that ball of energy of, you know, that fiery energy that you have that you want to move forward. So I'm definitely feeling this forward movement, this going up, reaching the stars, so to speak, okay? I'm feeling like you have the moon in both of these cards here which signifies, you know, some type of an emotion that you're feeling. So I, I'm feeling like there was a time, Libra, there was a time where you were going through something um, dark, okay? Um, I'm looking at this seven of wands here, and when I see that wand, I'm feeling like it's a match in the dark, okay? So like igniting some light to your life, that you were in a dark place that you wanted to move up. You're trying to get in touch with your um, emotional state, I feel like, you know, the feelings that you've been having and wrestling and moving towards something that is of higher ground, all right? So let's look at this card right here. This is the nine of cups. Um, very blue. It has an array up here of red and purple. So I'm definitely very flowing. I feel it very, very flowing, very going, very, you know, in this motion and this circle. And it's kind of like you're moving towards um, or you're moving around and coming back and getting in touch with your emotional side or the feeling the heart side of you and I feel like so it's just kind of coming around and you're you're constantly coming back and checking in co constantly coming back and checking in um I feel like though with you 
in this card, maybe you were going through these cycles of emotions just because it's circular, cy you know, cyclic, is that the right word, <laughs> Libra? And I feel like now you're wanting to move forward in this where the moon is lit up here in yellow. It's highlighted. It's like moving towards um, happiness of the feeling that you want and sparking that within, bringing the light, uh, sh shining the light upon the darkness that you might have um, had. As you see here in this moon, it's very, it's got the white around it. Um, gosh, I'm sorry, I can't. Okay, so it's got the white around it. So it's kind of like it's being lit. And this is the darkness, of course. And you're wanting to move the towards the light, towards the moon. Now, the moon is very deep, okay? And it can be very dark. But I see that it's lit here. So it's almost like I feel like here you are going through this cycle, right? The match has been lit to shine the dark, to shine the light on the darkness. And now your moon is colored like you, you're you're putting focus on your feelings your your um your intuition your um knowing of where you're at knowing who you are libra i'm feeling that for you and wanting to move up okay um towards that the ace of pentacles all right very focused okay i'm feeling like it's a very focused energy it's core it's you it's center all this comes from to build this spark up here comes from your core from the middle of who you are um and it will radiate outwards okay but you have to hone in on that you have to hone in on this spark this energy ball that's in you that wants to be released outwardsly okay here you have the um, Son of Swords, which I said is the Knight of Swords. So you're you're approaching this with vigor, okay? But you're not you're not just hastily going into it, okay? You're very focused on where you're going. You're very um, driven into the part that where you want to be, where you want to move up to, is very thought through. You know exactly where you're heading. You know exactly how you want to do this. Um, you've gave a lot of thought to it and you're ready to take the action that's needed. Okay. And maybe this is in conversation with somebody. Maybe you have to, maybe this is going to be involved where you're going to need to talk to somebody, um, open up the gates of communication and be direct with them and tell them this is what it is. This is where I'm at. Okay. I see here that you have the hermit card as well, which is Virgo energy. Um, so definitely, you know, taking time to meditate, to um, center yourself, to calm yourself, to refocus yourself. I'm seeing a lot of focus in these cards here. A lot of focus, you know, like the focus here, you're going up, okay? The focus, the flame, the focus in the center, the focus in the in the um, owl, just knowing, you know, going, focus. And then you being within and still having this little flint of flame here that's keeping it lit to keep keeping you um, awake to what is and where you want to be going. All right. So like I said, your overall is being true to who you are so you can climb up this mountain to build that foundation to where you want to get to. I'm feeling like you definitely have um, this drive behind you right now that you are almost like in tunnel vision, but but not in a bad way. It's just like you, your focus is so honed in to where you want to get to when you go to a mountain and you're about to climb up it and you're about to hike up it you have a vision already of where you want to be and how you're going to get up there all right you're done with um you want to move past this cycle of constantly coming back to um these hidden emotions or hidden feels that you have and coming back and coming back i mean i think it's time to open up the gates and walk towards it and face it core you know head on and deal with it and i believe it's going to bring you to a place where you're going to want to um better yourself and move forward from yourself i feel like you know this is probably 
a relationship that you're in um that is causing like cycles to happen in your mind to happen you know within yourself and i feel like you need to make those steps forward to communicate to whoever this is or whatever this is you need to make it known on how you are feeling and make sure it's coming from the genuine authentic place of who you are you know like deep down in your heart you know like just this is where this is where i stand this is where i'm at all right and i see the reflection the inner reflection you're doing to try to to get that all right to get that spark to get it going so with that said libra i feel like it's time to move on um and go ahead and open that dialogue to the person that it is that you may or may not be feeling that is holding you back okay which I don't really feel like this is a person that's holding you back. It's really you holding yourself back. It's really you um, staying, you know, staying in your um, feels. And I feel like it's telling you, you know, you're, you're, you're being pulled in different directions. All right especially with this going around and around it's like okay we're gonna go this way and then we're gonna go this way and this way and you're always coming back to the same scenario where you're thinking about how you feel or maybe how you where you the feelings of what you're drawn to your what your intuition is telling you like you keep coming back to it okay and now it's saying hey let's go with it let's go with this intuition we're lighting it up for you we want you to we want you to go this path. I mean, here's the wands lighting up and there's the wands going up the stairs. It's like, hey, we're going to light this path for you so you can get in touch with your intuition. You can go towards the things that it is that you know that you're being called, drawn to, um, a pull to or whatever. Because that's what your core self knows. Okay, deep within, you know that. So now it's time to stay focused and to really, really find what it is and go within and to make those steps to move towards it because like i said you're wanting to build a foundation within yourself here you're wanting to build some kind of stability and you want it to all work synchronicity syn synchronicity you want it to work together okay and you want it to be stable in some form and right now it's you working within yourself and when i see three you know, I definitely do feel and think like, um, you know, 3D world, or I think Earth, think of the things that are around, um, you know, material possessions, whatever. But I feel like with this, it's like you working together in this world to build to where you want to be, going with your um, intuition and where you feel like you need to be heading. Okay, so I think some of you for a while now have had this calling, had this idea, had this gut feeling, had all these things, and you just kind of been catching it and then moving around and then catching it, moving around, you know, with water flowing, just kind of going with it. But I think it's being called on you now. I think it's time to start that passion, start that spark, start that inner passion to go towards um, what you're being called to do in April. All right, and reach the top of that mountain and get there. All right, so I'm going to pull some Chakra Mindset Oracle cards, or card, I'm just pulling one, and see where you're at. See if you have one last message of advice from Spirit. Thank you, Spirit Universe. What is one last message of advice that you have to give to Libra? Thank you. I also want to just say to you guys, Libra, if you feel, you know, if you're feeling this gut pull, if you're feeling this idea within that this is what you need to be doing, don't disregard that, okay? Don't disregard that. Don't push that aside. It will always keep coming back. It will always keep coming back until you finally do something about it. But I do feel like you are going to be doing something about it. You're going to take the steps needed to get to where you need to go, to get to that peak of that mountain, to get to the top of them steps, however you want to look at it, okay? What is the last message? What is the message you have for 
Libra spirits, guys. Thank you so much. Last message of advice. Lies. Lies. All right. So what I'm getting <clears throat> here for you is um, stop kidding yourself, Libra. Stop telling yourself that this is, it should be some other way. Stop telling yourself that, you know, you, you're good like it is when you're knowing that you're not. <laughs> when you're knowing that there is a better path for you and you're just not listening you're not listening to your gut or your intuition that's telling you okay really go within and find it really embrace that hermit and go within to find what it is that you are lying to yourself about that you are making it where you can't see because you're 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 putting an illusion up to what you you're putting an illusion up to make, to comfort you, to make you feel better about it. But you know, deep down, what it is that you should be doing or what you want to be doing or what processes or what acts needs to be made to move towards the direction of where you feel like you are more needed and where you are um, called to do. Don't disregard that and, and don't lie to yourself. Okay, don't lie to yourself for that. All right, and you know, hopefully you will find that within April 2020. I hope you're moving into the right directions that you are needed and to be true to you and to yourself and to others, okay? All right, Libra, well, I love you and I'll bid you adieu. I hope you guys are doing well. Please comment if this resonates. Give me a thumbs up and until next time, bye.